the Lord to come in and penetrate. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we just thank God today for every every word, amen, that has been spoken on today. I, I, I'm going to move quickly, amen. I have to give you, amen, what the Lord has given me. And I was at the hotel this morning, and, and I was sitting there eating breakfast, and there was this lady um, sitting right behind me. And she wasn't saying anything. And she was an elderly lady. And I heard the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost said to just go and begin to talk to her. And ask her, what do you need? And as I continued to ask and, and, and I began to speak to her, and I heard the Holy Ghost say, homeless. And she sat there and I would turn and I said, do you need me to get you something? The lady brought us food and set it down. And, and I said, is there anything else that you need? I'm just right here now. And she said, I'm fine. Never one time did she complain. And as I got ready to go, the Holy Ghost say, go and give her a hug. The, uh, the lady that worked at the hotel, she came and, and she began to say something to her. And she walked away. And after I gave her the hug, I saw the lady go in, and the lady began to say, oh, you see it too. And I said, is she okay? I said, is she your, with you? She said, mm -mm. She said, she got put out this morning. And so I said to the lady, I said, ma'am, I said, um, everything is going to be okay. And, 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 and the Lord just had us to bless her. Amen. To bless her and to let her know that this too shall pass. Amen. Nothing too hard for God to do. The lady was going to put her up before another room. Amen. But the Lord said to bless her. Amen. So we have to hear. We have to hear. We have to have a ear to hear. Spiritually. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is moving. Amen. By his power. By his spirit. And so the Lord has me to tell you all today. Amen. That this is kingdom work that we have become a part of. And it's so good to be a part of the kingdom where God is blessing his people. Amen. If you're not blessed, amen. If you don't believe that you're blessed, amen, just go to the hospital, amen. Go to the nursing home, amen. Just, just look around, amen, in your community. Amen. You'll find that you, amen, you thought you were doing bad, but he'll let you see somebody else. That's doing a little bit worse than you. And when you see that, you can say, oh, God, I thank you that I'm blessed. And so how not God spoke the other day. He said, this is kingdom building with kingdom purpose that produces kingdom blessings and a harvest. Amen. I heard the lady say, amen, and she had never spoken or something before, but I couldn't tell you. Because the Holy Ghost, my God. When he anointed and put something together, oh my God, I tell you, it is powerful. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I thank and praise God for what God is doing, y'all. I tell you, amen. Everything that we heard today, uh, let's, we're going to go to 2 Timothy and the third chapter. 2 Timothy, third chapter. 2 Timothy, third chapter. Y'all know we're not of this world. Amen? We are the citizens of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Second Timothy, third chapter. It says, and the 15th verse says, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. From a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. We sat in church all of our lives, some of us. Go to church, amen, and in Bible study, amen. And, 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 and we have, amen, advanced in age. But I wonder, I want to ask you today, have you been advanced in knowledge? 
Glory be to God. Amen. See, the Father is calling for us to get an understanding on today. On today. And this is a time and a season that he, amen, is not wicked and blinking, amen, at our ignorance, amen. God, amen, wants you to get an understanding. That's why so much a chaos in the church, amen, because there's no understanding, amen, from somebody, amen. There's, there's, there's so much chaos in your uh, homes, amen, because there is a, a lack of understanding between one person of the enemy can keep one of them blind, amen, and deceived, amen, and, and with lies and doubts, glory be to God, amen. He has won the fight, glory be to God. Amen. That devil is a defeated soul. And all of his work has been destroyed. Oh, God, I thank you. Now, you can shout on that if you like, because, amen, you got to know the devil ain't got no power. Because Luke 9 tells us that God has given you power over all demons, over all, not some, but all. I heard the man of God come also talk about, amen, that nature of Adam, amen. We got to understand today who we are, amen, that Jesus done come, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus has set you and I free. And some people feel like that we can't be free. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, you got to learn how to walk in liberty, amen. And when he set you free, you got to stay free. Don't go back. You can't go back. You will be back. You got to let it go. You got to shut the door. You got to slap the door. Don't you go back in there. Paul says, I die daily. Somebody said, well, I repent daily. I ain't seen that in the word. Somebody got to help me. But I die. You got to die to some stuff. You got to die to yourself. You got to die to your old man. That old nature is flesh. That's what death works. And sin works in your flesh. You got to die. Many people, not too many people want to die. They ain't willing to give up self. But you can't, you can't have him and have yourself. You can't serve mainly. You can't serve him and you serve the devil. Amen. He's a jealous God. Not the jealous God as we are. Not jealous if I said the cruel as the grave. Glory. But you got to, amen, be willing to give up yourself. Glory be to God. So, and, and become kingdom mind. Amen. Take on the mind of Christ. Amen. And, amen. Because he's going to dress you with righteousness. As you, amen, as you, amen, become holy in him. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we need the mind of Christ. Amen. We need the mind of Christ. Amen. I'm just going to brief, briefly brief. Amen. Concerning what I've heard. Amen. Amen. Uh, we got to not be ashamed of the gospel. This gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is the power unto salvation to anyone, to you that believes in him. Somebody said, well, she ain't preached or he ain't preached. That's because he ain't hooped or she ain't hooped. He didn't say that it was preaching. He told me preaching ain't hooping and hooping ain't preaching. This word, this word, if you give us, a, give, give us the word, give, us, give people the word, give the world the word, amen, it's going to either draw them in or it's going to send them back. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The word is the real thing. Hallelujah. It's life. It's health to your name and marriage to your bone. Come on here. Amen. We need wisdom. Understanding wisdom. Amen. Understanding. Amen. With wisdom. Amen. We got to get some wisdom. We got to get wisdom, y'all. We got to wise up on, on this journey and stop allowing the enemy to defeat you on every note. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to put the enemy on a run. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let him keep running you. Amen. You got to get some word in you to, in, to be able to fight and to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
glory be to God. So, now that you know that you were blessed in, your, in the belly, that you were blessed in the belly, amen, before you was even formed in your mama's womb, glory be to God. How you, now you got to know you got power. Amen. Why? Because God has ordained you before the foundation of the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you are somebody in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so, therefore, when we're in church, amen, we have to have a spiritual discernment. When in our church, amen, we need spiritual discernment to see the need, amen, that's within the heart. It was that's within. Yeah. Glory be to God. And, and yes, 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 you ain't got to be in the pulpit to see the need. Glory be to God. All you got to be is anointed and appointed. Amen. How do you just got to know who you are in God and, and that God lives in you and you are in Him. Hallelujah. Yeah, you are somebody. Yeah, you can operate then in the power. Yes, of that word. Glory be to God. You can lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yeah, so you're blessed in the belly. So you ain't got to be scared, amen, of your faces. Glory be to God. You ain't got to be afraid of no devil, amen. You ain't got to be scared of man right. or woman, amen. You just got to, all you got to do is go in the name of Jesus. That name will put you in some places. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The profile of a man, of a man, of God, amen. Yeah, yeah, God is looking, amen, to see if does he see himself in you and I today. Yeah, you need to take on God's character. His image, he was, he says, amen, in Genesis 1, he says, I, I, we, I created man in my image and in my likeness, amen. Yeah, we created he for him, amen. Glory to God, male and female. Glory be to God. And so, amen, when you know your uh, image and, and your character, character and your inheritance. Hallelujah! You can walk in dominion and power. Hallelujah! Because God has given you that authority in the earth. Amen. And you got the authority to speak those things that be not as though they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what kind of sickness come your way. Does not matter what kind of demon or devil come your way. Amen. How do you you got to know amen? You can you have the power on the inside of you greater he that is in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Jesus, what pain and sickness come upon you. All you got to do is just walk the floor. And say, Father, you told me that greater is you that's in me than he that's in the world. Then pain demons. Then 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 heart attacks. Then headaches. Oh God, my dreams and lupus. Whatever your issue is today, and then your depression, then don't claim it. Give that mess back to the devil. Because all that stuff works in the flesh. Works in the flesh. But the spirit is life. And life abundantly. Hallelujah. And so, amen, you got the victory. You're more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. Hallelujah. God, why God is your lifeline. God, no matter what's wrong with the heart, God is your lifeline. Hallelujah. And so, my sisters and brothers, we're no more slaves to sin. We're no more slaves to the enemy. We're, we've been promoted from a slave to a friend. Amen. John the 15th chapter 15 verse says, Amen. I don't call, I know I don't call you anymore. Amen. A servant, but I call you friend. A friend. A friend. A friend. A friend. He but friend y'all to sit closer to us than any brother. And so Jesus came up by saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Kingdom of God. Yeah. 
and he's coming back. 